Hi everyone, this is Al from GoThrough360. We have here the new 3CO 360 camera. This camera is so good that I actually cannot believe it exists. Why? The camera is cheap, it's fast, and the quality is amazing. Let's see how fast we can create a mini virtual tour with 3CO and GoThrough. First, we need to connect your phone to the camera. What I found out that you need to actually deactivate the data from your carrier and then the connection between the phone and the camera will be easy. Once the connection is done, all we have to do is press the red button. The camera will start rotating to analyze the um, environment and then will start to shoot. The camera will rotate to all four directions and will take one image from each direction. And then the camera with the phone will combine all these images into one panoramic image. So you actually don't have to stitch the images. Takes about one minute per image. And you always have to move a bit around the camera so you make sure you're not in the shot. What I like about the camera is it auto um, creates the HDR so you see through the windows. This is very important especially for real estate photography and for uh, business, business tools created for Google Street View. I love this camera so much that I call it the mini Matterport. And that's it. We've created the images and now all we have to do is download the images from the app and upload them to go through via go through street editor. Now open the Tricio app and go to the camera tab. I'm scrolling down to some early set of images where I have a bigger tour. Just click on the download button and the images will be imported to your phone. And now we're gonna speed up through the process of downloading the images from the camera to the phone. Um, but the process is pretty fast by itself. So no worry, it'll, you'll not have to wait too much. And now we're going to open Street Editor app. Street Editor is the go-through mobile app for connecting panoramas. And here we just create a new project. And uh, type in the, the name of the tour. and then select the, all the panoramas and start adding them to the tour that we have on the mobile phone. And now all the images have been imported into the app. So let's go ahead and start connecting. 
So we select first panel and then we look for the connection and then we rotate them so they are aligned. And when we satisfied with the alignment, we click connect and then we are clicking on the little eye to hide the panel that is connected and we don't need to connect it anymore. Then we go to panel number uh, three in our case and connect it with panel number two. Position and uh, orientate the angles. And once the connection is done, again, hide panel number uh, uh, two. Yeah. And now we connect panel three with panel eight. Set the angles. Save the connection and hide panel number three. And we go through this process basically panel by panel. So now eight with seven, fix the angles, click save, and hide panel number eight. And now we are going to panel number seven with panel number six. Align the angles, click save, hide number seven, and then number six with number five. Fix the angles. and save we hide again and now the last two panels and we are done so the hiding process is very important because you don't have to scroll to a lot of uh, images now trying to upload but um, i forgot to connect to my wi-fi the phone is still connected to the camera, so I have to connect to my Wi-Fi. And once that is done, we are uploading all the images to go through. We are again going uh, to speed up the video in uh, the upload process to go through. And once the upload is successful, we log in into our GoThrough account. We can go from uh, the mobile or from the desktop to the tool section and then overlay, editor, and we have the final tour with the navigation arrow and we can move around through the whole tour. Again, the process uh, took me probably 15 minutes from the moment I start shooting these eight panoramic images till the end of creating this tour.